because it just kind of felt like I, you know, I had to work through some stuff to get that last this game. Because I know, I mean, come the game, I didn't, I didn't think, I didn't think or notice it at all. When did you know that you were going to play this week? I mean, it was in my mind. I just had to figure out at what, like, what type of capacity was I going to go into play in? Was, was I going to be like, obviously, I don't like to, like I told you, I don't want like to yeah. give anything away. Um, You're good at that. So I just, yeah, I just kind of just have to grit out certain things. But I mean. If I ain't got nothing, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the story. So so, so, when, so when, when was it, though? You had it in your mind. Obviously, it's a goal. But when was it that you knew, okay, it's happening Sunday? Well, I mean, we, I think we it was in my in my mind in the plan all along. It was, you know, that, that three-week mark was going to be kind of, we'll kind of see it. But then, obviously, uh, come the, four, the fourth week, it was just, we had, it was more of a pain tolerance, which I said wasn't the most comfortable thing, but I didn't care. I was like, you look, come game day, get that adrenaline going and everything, I'm we're going to go. James, how does this contrast feel the last two years, late in the season, you go down two seasons ago, last year late in the season, you try it against Detroit, then can't go in the playoffs, but now you're getting healthy, able to come back, your team's ascending, and you put together a performance like this. Uh, I mean, I really wouldn't compare last year at all to this year. Um, that was a completely different circumstance and not a, not a pretty one. Um, obviously, having to get a surgery and then get another one again. Um, right now, it's just... I mean, frankly, the having the time off for my stomach really kind of gave my knee what it needed to finally, like I was kind of saying earlier in the week to a couple other reporters, that, you know, I, it's not in my way, not in my thought, not in my mind, so that's amazing. And then it really was just kind of figuring out uh, my stomach. And as the week went on, painful earlier on, uh, but I, that's what I was talking about, kind of, I think, breaking up some scar tissue, creating some more elasticity in my abdomen. Um, and come game day, I mean, I, don't, I didn't notice it at all, really. David, what does it say about this team where you guys were a month and a half ago now going into the final week of the season going to the playoff team? Uh, that <clears throat> reporters and people that do the news are a lot more uh, emotional than us because you guys like to run a roller coaster. You guys, are, you guys go with the highs and then also, you know, run with the lows. Uh, the biggest thing is just staying resilient, um, being stable and um, I was talking about it earlier in the week is it, adversity happens to that. That's either how you grow or how you fail, but you need to face adversity. Um, I think this team is really starting to see in all three phases that it's showing growth, showing it, showing it with an experience. And that also speaks to, you know, what this team is. We got, uh, we got a bunch of guys, we got good leaders. We got a lot of young guys too, and they need to learn. And a lot of learning comes through adversity. I mean, I think that we can take it, you know, peel back the layers, just even go from the human era, growing up, you know, now being a dad, and like looking at my kid, like, baby girl's gonna have to learn just by feeling stuff out, getting sensations, same thing, you know, with these young guys. It's a little bit, I mean, I could be, be more complex about it, but that's how it is with these young guys coming in the league. They gotta go through routes, they gotta get yelled at by Aaron, you know, they gotta know where they're supposed to be. And uh, I think it's starting to show right now, and we just gotta capitalize on the momentum.